Hello YouTube people, this video is from the series where I bought a bunch of ultra cheap watches trying to find some good ones. Today we're gonna take a look at this citizen homage. Let's see if it is any good. First of all, let's take a look how it looks like on my skinny wrist. If you wanna see the dimensions of this watch, check the description. I will measure it myself. All I can tell you right now that it feels very comfortable. This strap very soft, very comfortable. The watch itself is relatively slim for its diameter. Has very flat case back which makes this watch feel very stable. Very comfortable, surprisingly comfortable. And it does look rather nice. I can't really complain, especially at this price point. I'm not sure about chrome plating on a tool like watch. But you know, it's just personal preference. Some people might like it. It is based on the looks of a citizen, and I, and I like how citizen watches look like. So it's no, you know, no surprise that this watch doesn't look too bad. Pretty big though, <laughs> pretty big, but surprisingly comfortable. Oh, I forgot to spill that sticker off as usual. Sorry. Let's take it off. Yeah, fresh, absolutely fresh. Ben Newis. <laughs> I know some people gonna be triggered by the fact that this is diver style watch, yet it has only 30 meters of water resistance. But when you think about it, there are a lot of ultra expensive watches that look very, very sporty and they still have only 30 meters of water resistance. So anyway. How is the crown action? Let's see the crown action. Now, no, the crown is super sensitive, it's completely loose, it's very difficult to set the time accurately, and on top of that, when I push in the crown, the minute jumps, the minute hand jumps sometimes half of the minute, which is super annoying. Yeah, so that's bad. Now, another thing, how is the alignment? on six alignment is good that's nice let's see how it flips the date okay 9 p.m 10 p.m okay 11 p.m 11 30 11 45 it's not too bad it's not too bad it's pretty close to the midnight and speaking about not too bad things i would like to mention that on an ultra cheap watch, it's pretty surprising to see that a uh, chapter ring color matches the dial color. There is no color mismatch between chapter ring and the dial itself, which is very nice. Also, I see no fingerprints under the glass and no dust under the glass, which is also super surprising on this price category. Let's see how is the strap. Let's zoom out a little bit. What's nice is that it, the buckle has some nice engraving and another end of the strap has this nice logo. And overall, this strap feels just wonderful, to be honest. It's something in between silicone and rubber. It feels very soft, very flexible, very squishy. It feels wonderful on the wrist as well. To be honest, buying this quality strap alone would cost you the same as this whole watch, basically. So that's that's really surprising. How is the bezel action? Um, initially, it was very stuck, very difficult to turn. So I sprayed it down with WD-40. And right now it's almost, it's right now, yeah, it's too loose, but still gets stuck sometimes in some places well to be honest i'm actually surprised that at this price category this bezel is actually usable it's not just a decoration <laughs> you can actually turn it and another thing let's see alignment well with alignment there is a problem that it sometimes jumps jump sometimes skips the the tick and when i get it i get it right in the center but when i don't get it it's completely off yeah so bezel action is pretty bad to be honest alignment is 
well, I don't know. Sometimes I get it right. Sometimes I can't get it right. So that's that's the bezel for you. Okay, so what are conclusions? Um, this watch looks nice. Great value for money. But it feels just as cheap as it is. And for that reason, I'm putting this watch on my website, thomaswatchrevels.com, into nope tier. I mean, if you really like the looks of it, go for it. At least the strap is really good. But, you know... It's not bad to the point where I would want to destroy this watch, but it's pretty bad that I don't want to put it any tier higher than nope tier. So the, those are the conclusions. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.